Thank you, Charles. Good afternoon, everybody. We as a development team are extremely excited about version 8.2 because in 8.2 we saw some major improvements in the Alicad graphics engine using state-of-the-art technologies. We could therefore add some new and very exciting visualization tools to our render view. Today I'll be showing you some new visualization tools in the render view, loading and rendering of reality mesh data and some new enhancements to the Civil Designer fly-through functionality. So this is the table mount and DTM consisting of about 55,000 points. When you have hardware acceleration switched on, you can interact with the model using this view cube at the top by just clicking on the faces or on the corners. Traditionally, Civil Designer renders the terrain using tri a triangled mesh according to the display settings. If I will just, if you can see, it renders um, triangles at the moment. I just want to level my view there. You can save these views uh, by just clicking on the toolbar at the, at the bottom there. It will save that with the drawing. So if I go to the terrain settings there, this is how you how you control how the DTM will be displayed. In addition to plane shading, we also have nat natural simulation, which uses a height map. You can see we have some preset styles that you can use. Or we can go to custom where we can control exactly how we want how you want this to be displayed. The height map or the natural simulation is much better if you have uh, big DTMs, big dense DTMs because it's a lot faster and you can you can give it a very realistic um, look and feel to it by using these custom settings. Let's turn it a little bit again. I'm going to show you. You can save a, make it. You can save a, a second a view like that. The second option we have is the environment option. This is what how you control how the background is displayed. We have some again some preset um, settings and preset styles. There's night and sunny. You can see that's how the it, we control how the how we display the background. I'll just go and show you that you can click on any of these saved views and it'll change to that view. So we can also we can also go to control how the ground plane is displayed by clicking on one of these presets again. There's a rough ocean. Um, we can go to the custom to custom and then actually be very creative on how exactly your background is displayed. You can set the the haze saturation, sky saturation, or you can go and look exa see exactly what the sky box looked like and control how how your what color your sun is. You can set the scatter intensity, the size, and the disk blend. It's all to do with how the sun is 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 displayed in the sky. You can give it as I, as I did there, pink color to make very interesting views. So you can become really creative um, with this now. In the past, you would have needed a third party program to do this with, but with Civil Designer, you have this at your fingertips in render view. Next up, reality mesh data. I'm just loading this drawing and going to render view. Reality Mesh Data is high resolution 3D models created from simple photographs or from point clouds. Civil Designer can load and render multi resolution 3MX data in our render view like this. We currently work with a company called AAM Africa who offers a wide range of spatial information technologies to make this type of data available to you. In Civil Designer, we currently load and render the data in the render view. We use a multi threaded loading rendering strategy with level of detail support. We will develop this further in future so that you can interact with this mod model a, a bit better, with this type of data a bit better. Just to give you an idea, I'm going to exit this 
and I'm going to open another data set of the Cape Flats. Just to illustrate to you how you would, how you can, in, how you can overlay your design on top of this in render view. So once again, I'm going to go, this is just the image. I can go to render view where we load the data again. You can actually see the blocks appearing as we load and render different, different uh, levels of detail. So there um, is a roundabout. Another visualization tool is right click and then go to circle around and circle around will just circ do a 360 circle around your cursor position, which is quite a, quite a nice um, presentation tool. I'm going to exit render view and then switch on, go to display settings and just switch on my road designs. These are just quickly designed roads to give you an idea of what it will look like when we overlay a design onto the reality mesh. Go to render view again. And then if I go to, if I, if I change this view slightly, um, you can get the idea. I'm going to go circle around again. And there you can see your, your newly designed road overlaying the reality mesh. Quite an interesting tool as well for validation. I can see very accurately there that my road banks are, are clearing the, the buildings there. Just level that view out. Okay, I'm going to exit render view. Let's just close the other drawings that we've been working with. Next, I want to show you some fly through functionality in 8.2 for that i'm using this project this is um, the a13 in london near london and it consists of about 85,000 points and about 18 roads making up a detailed design of two interchanges it's loading it up i'm going to go to render view you will see the detailed design consists of roads, road markings, uh, road furniture, some trees, and road signs. So in 8.2 you can right click and go straight to fly along road, uh, road entity in this case, but you can fly along along any, any entity you want that's available, that's visible. You can interact with it using this bar at the bottom. I can go up and down, left and right. The camera will change and then I can use my wheel mouse to speed up or slow down. So I'm slowing down to show you this bridge and then speeding up again to, to there. You, you can see the, the road markings. You can see the lamppost which are just blocks that's been added, 3D blocks. And you can see how smooth it is, smooth the fly through is. This is live data uh, from Civil Designer. This is not this is not done by a third party application. So I'm slowing down to a complete stop. At this point, I can just right click on any other entity like this road and say fly along this entity now. Now it's but it's taking the the off ramp. I'm just speeding speeding up a little bit. You can see the road markings that we've done. We'll show you more about this later. But this has been done using the UK installation and you will see the arrows are all according to UK standards as opposed to South African standards. We ship the program with with the appropriate arrows for, for, the, for the country. I'm going to go up to the traffic lights and come to a stop. Okay, let's go to a stop. So you can even, you can stop and then even reverse by carrying on with your mouse wheel. So I can go to a, to a previous position. Now at this point, I can also release my, my camera. Um, I can unfix my camera, unlock the camera and then look around where, where I am at. I'm looking back at the on-ramp 
or at the at the bridge there okay so i'm going to lock it again to the forward position and i can i'm going to go up a little bit so i can get a better view of the entity right click fly along this entity this is a this is a ring road that that with two bridges i'm going through the interchange there intersection another intersection and onto the second bridge all those the the traffic lights and the the road signs have been done in civil designer using the add road signs function okay i'm, I'm going to just back up a little bit and stop there unlock my my camera and then we can actually we can take a few photographs but this pressing, pressing control one uh, this view Press Control One, and that'll say save it to that first slot on the bottom left. So let's continue. Again, this is live data. This is not not been done in a third-party application. This is directly from Civil Designer. Okay, I'm going to stop on this bridge again. Okay, there we go. Stop. Let's go up a little bit. And then unlock a cursor. Then I can save this view, Control 2, to uh, the second slot at the bottom. Control 3, third slot. And now you can always go back to these views again. Let's just finish... And these views get saved with a drawing, so you'll always have them available when you go to render view. So I can go to them by just clicking again at the bottom, or right clicking and clicking on them. With these tools, you will be able to create realistic presentations easily, and do your design validation, and have a lot of fun while doing it. That's all from me. Thank you. Back to you, Charles.